Okay, so I've got to do another way to spawn um, characters on death. Uh, so, like, replace one character with another. So, basically, you're going to have a normal AI script, which is slightly altered, uh, but the new script, which is going to change a little bit. And then in the if used field, we're going to put the name of the character we want to replace. Um, so obviously you're going to have to name them all uniquely if you want multiples. Um, so we've got one rabbit over here. Uh, you don't have to put them in the same place, but it's best to put them somewhere nearby. And then we're going to have a script that I've made called spawn in when dead. And obviously the name needs to match what you've put in the if used field of the character he is going to replace. And then obviously spawn at star is set to no. And these are characters, of course, so they're already dynamic. And then the trick is to open up your soldier script, or whichever um, script the actual first character is going to have. So in my case, they're just normal soldiers. Um, so they're using the AI soldier. .lua. And then you just need to add in this function here for the exit. Uh, basically, you're going to activate the if used field. I've hidden the guns because I didn't want them to actually drop their weapon, it looks a bit odd. Um, and then basically, I just remove the body. And that's it for that. And then, if you want to see the other script, you've got two. One is for the melee characters, because I'm going to use zombies later on. And then you've got one for the ranged, which is like the default one, because we'll see the rabbit is, um, has a gun. So I did encounter a slight bug where they were getting moved again for some reason. It seems that they were getting activated again. So I had to just add in a little bit of a double check, but it, it works now. Um, and then basically all you do is if you're using the AA ranged characters in the first, but you don't really need this line, but it's fine. Just leave it there. And then we're just going to call in the actual states here. So this is to actually set them up with this one. Uh, same as you do in the AI soldier script. Basically, you're just copying these two lines so that they will do exactly the same thing as the original script, if that makes sense. Uh, it's just you need to put them in here and here. Or you can write your own script in this book if you want to, if you want them to have different uh, logic. So maybe you want them just to talk to you, just add it in here. Um, and then the, rain, the melee script is exactly the same, apart from I've just called the different um, modules, as it were. So again, I've just copied these over from the original um, zombie script. So they're slightly different, and again, you need to change this up here if you want to include the actual script. If you're using zombies in the first place, Maybe you want to change a zombie to a different zombie. You can just probably ignore that line again. But as you can see, these are over here. So same thing, just uh, AI soldier.newer or whatever script you want. But make sure it has that, ex that new exit in there. And then copy the name over. And then same thing for this. Just make sure the name is the same. And then give this one the melee. Um, spawn in when dead melee because obviously he has no gun and then of course spawn as that is no and again just make sure you've named them all differently so that it knows which one is which otherwise you'll get all your characters spawn at one guy which is not what you want or maybe it is who knows so see they fire at me like normal, take hits, and if I kill him, he turns into a rabbit. And the rabbit can also fire at me. He plays out by default, this guy is going to turn into a hedgehog. The hedgehog doesn't do anything because the hedgehog is not set to do anything. He's normally just set to blow up, but I haven't worried about that. I'm just put him in just so you can see that it does actually change into different things. So as you can see there are no guns from the first soldiers, but there is a gun from the rabbit because obviously the rabbit is the final form. 
So you can add that set attachment E0 to hide that gun as well if you wanted to. Uh, so these are the guys that are going to turn into zombies. And as you can see, the zombies work fine. If you go near them, they will attack you. And that's it.